to give me a follow up here. I haven't done a video in a long time, so I thought I'd do a quick video on how to change your engine oil on a Suzuki GS125. So, things we're going to need, obviously, um, you're going to need your O ring, your oil filter, oil, you're going to need a 21mm a socket, um, a ratchet, or a spanner, or whatever. And um, this is our waste oil container. So let's get on to it. Alright, and obviously you're going to need a, a tray to get to all your oil and stuff. So, right, so first of all, the thing you have to do first is you to take off your uh, filler cap, take that off. She only needs 850ml oil, that's where the oil filter goes. So, first thing is first, so when you get under the bike, you've got something like this. You don't, don't undo the three outer bolts, you do the, the centre one in the middle. And as you can see, I've got a bit of an oil leak which is the um, seal from the starter motor has gone that's done that to me twice now so yeah let me um, get this bolt off and, uh, and I'm going to go for the next step right, so I've got that done and um, remember do not drop the uh, sump plug in the oil because you'll spend some time fishing for it just all that so, so whilst that is draining Let's go and get the uh, some the um, oil filter off. Right, so to get the um, oil filter cover off, um, you're going to need a 10 mil ratchet or a spanner or whatever. Right, let's get this. Let's get this off. Now you need to be careful when you take the cover off. It's got um, a spring inside the cover, and sometimes it does fly off, and sometimes you can get oil everywhere. And that. Right. So this is the old filter. Uh, as you can tell, it's been in there for a while. <laughs> and um, remembering that I did um, rebuild my engine at um, I don't know, like fifty thousand miles, and that's been in there. Six, seven thousand. But I, I changed the oil just before we did the um, cylinder and the piston. So let's get the new one out. So this is what the new one looks like. As you can tell, <laughs> the uh, colour difference is uh, a lot. <laughs> so then that will go. This goes in there, and it just just sits in there nicely like that. Make sure that's pushed right to the back, and then we've got to uh, change the seal in this. And for that, we're going to need a uh, screwdriver. When you've got your screwdriver, you can uh, get stuff over. You can now uh, get the uh, get the seal off. So you just got to. Oh. <laughs> And uh, now you get your new one, and then that just sits in there like that. You get a bit of oil and get a bit of lube around that. Right, and now we can uh, put the uh, cover back on. Right, so when you put all your cover back on, uh, these do have a, uh, a torque, and I think they're torqued to something like 10 newton meters or something like that. Um, I don't. I don't really bother talking them up. Um, as long as they're just um, finger tight and just nip them up, they're fine. They haven't caused me a problem before. No. And uh, now we've got to put the um, sump plug back in and the new oil. So uh, put your sump back in, clean the magnet on top or the bolt, put it back in, torque it up. Sent about 20 newton meters or something. So do that, and now it's time for the new oil. Now, 
this is an old bike, so uh, apparently I'm, um, mineral is the best, so I just use um, 15W40, so that doesn't cause any problem, but it, on the cap it does say um, 10W40, but the only difference is um, like lowering, uh, lowering temperatures that the engine can run at, what well, the oil can run at, so yeah, let's put it in. Um, this is just a quick check, so um, pull some in and then check the um, the spy hole, it's got out at the bottom, F at the top, you want it roughly died. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, so when you check your spy, your spy glass, or your spy hole, whatever you call it, um, low is at the bottom, F is at the top, so you want it roughly, I don't know, uh, un just you want it under the F, you don't want to put it, you don't want to um, fill it up over it, because that's bad, you'll, you'll end up pressurising the system and you'll blow all your bottom crankcase seals and, and yeah, you don't, that's, don't want that to happen. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on filling it up and then um, say what we do next. Once you're happy with your level, mine is just under the full. So yeah, it's full, so then you can put your cap back on. And that. And then uh, fire up and if the level drops, then um, you can Run the bike for a bit, let it get warm again, and then uh, check the um, the level again, and if, if if need be, then you top it up. So yeah. So this has been a video on how to change the engine oil on a uh, Suzuki GS125, and sorry this has been ages, no videos and stuff like that, but ho hopefully I will uh, get on back on track again, making more videos, stuff like that. And I'll see you all guys in the next video.